Hello everyone. If you're watching this video, that means you're likely a member of the Maryland National Guard. Thank you for your service. In this video, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of the Healthcare for Heroes TRICARE Premium Reimbursement Program Enroll and Application process. The first thing you'll do is head to the application portal, OneStop. In your browser, type in onestop.md.gov. Once there, you'll need to log in or register for a free account to gain access to the application. If you're registering, you must provide your first and last name, a valid email, and create a strong password using the criteria listed in the registration pop-up sheet. Now that you're logged in, it's time to start the enrollment process. On the One Stop homepage, search Healthcare for Heroes and click on the magnifying glass. You'll be forwarded to a search results page, and the top result should say Healthcare for Heroes TRICARE Premium Reimbursement Program Enrollment Application. The estimated time it'll take to complete this application is 5 to 10 minutes, so the process shouldn't take up too much of your free time. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see the Apply Now button. But before you click it, make sure to have a copy of your TRICARE insurance card or an account statement to verify your benefits because you'll need to upload one of these items to get approved. Once your paperwork is in order, it's time to complete the application. In this application, you'll have to fill out standard information like first and last name and contact info. You'll also need to include your DOD ID number, which can be found on the back of your CAT card. Next, you'll need to upload a government issued ID. This can be a driver's license, state ID, or US passport. After uploading your identification, select the TRS and or TDP programs you are enrolled in. The next part calls back to that insurance card mentioned earlier. In this section, you'll upload your TRICARE Health and or TRICARE Dental Insurance card or statement. You must fill out some tax information on an IRS W-9 form. Click on the link and download the form to finish this step. Once complete, upload the form with your signature on it and proceed to the next step. If enrolled, you must let us know how you would like to receive your funds. If you choose to have your money directly deposited into your account, you must fill out a GADX-10 form which needs to be emailed to gadcsc at marylandtaxes.gov. This form will ask for your general admin information, banking information, and you'll be asked to include a voided check or a bank letter, hand signed or with a verifiable digital signature by a bank representative confirming account name, account number, and ABA routing number attached in the email. In line 18 of the GADX-10 form, you have three options to choose from on how you want the deposit to appear on your banking statement. Choose the option that best works for you, then print your name, sign your signature, date the form, and email it to gadcsc at marylandtaxes.gov. If you prefer a paper check, select the mail check option, print and sign your name on the application, check the box to legally bind yourself to the information you provided, and submit the document. And that's it. After you submit your application, you'll receive an automated email informing you that the Maryland Military Department has received your enrollment application for the Healthcare for Heroes TRICARE Premium Reimbursement Program and that the agency will review your submission and contact you with the next steps. Speaking of next steps, if your application is approved, you will receive an email from OneStop notifying that you're eligible for the program. From the OneStop homepage, go to My Dashboard, scroll down to the My Licenses, Permits, and Registrations section, Click on the unique ID in the lower left corner to access the reimbursement application. Once there, you'll see a green button that says reimbursement request form on the top right hand corner of your screen. On the next page, click on the button that says complete initial form to start the process. If not auto populated already, you'll be prompted to fill in your personal information, specify the number of reimbursements you're requesting, and confirm the calendar month of coverage for which your insurance premium was paid. The eligible reimbursement amount will only cover up to $60 for that month. However, that $60 isn't guaranteed. For example, let's say you only have TRICARE Dental and you're enrolled as a single individual. If the total insurance you pay for that month is $12.36, then the eligible reimbursement amount will also be $12.36. If you're seeking reimbursement for multiple months, the total eligible reimbursement amount will be automatically calculated in the total eligible reimbursement amount section. To receive reimbursement, you must provide proof of insurance premium payments for each month that you're reporting on this form. The following are acceptable documents to verify payment, which include a credit card or bank statement. This can come in the form of a screenshot or a PDF of your account statement reflecting the payment transaction for your monthly insurance premium. Please note that the screenshot must include the account holder's name, which must match the service member's name in the application, and the payment transaction must display the date of the transaction posting, the payment amount, and the vendor slash merchant name for the TRS insurance program. 
After your files are uploaded, sign and submit the request form for review. Shortly after, you'll receive an automated email that your application was submitted. Once the application is reviewed, you'll receive another email from OneStop notifying you to log in to check whether the requests were approved or rejected by navigating to My Dashboard and accessing your program enrollment record. If any of your requests are approved, the Maryland Military Department will forward the information to the State Treasury, and the reimbursement will be dispersed to the manner you elected during the enrollment process, either by direct deposit or mail check. If any of your requests were rejected and you feel this was done in error, you may submit another. And that's it. In the meantime, if you have any questions about the Healthcare for Heroes program, please contact mmd.healthcareforheroes at maryland.gov. Thank you for your service, and have a great day.